Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Grand Spartan. Today, we're going to go back to that crazy planet we went to with all the troop transports and the drones and all the stuff flying around shooting at us. And uh, we're going to establish a base there. Uh, been playing for quite some time since our last recording. I've been really digging this game. And uh, one thing that I did this morning was I went on creative and I created myself a base, just kind of still learning the uh, the ropes of this game and talking to Ulcro Express and a couple of others on the server, found out that I could create a base, make a blueprint of it, and then have it in this single player game. And so I created something that was not super resource heavy. Uh, we'll see it right here. Uh, I've already taken the time today in playing to uh, create it. took about an hour and 45 minutes or so to put it together. It's just a small base, uh, nothing too fancy, but uh, has a few guns on it and all that we need to kind of establish ourselves on the other planet. Now, uh, what I've been doing here is I'm trying to gather all that I think we will need to make our trip. Pretty sure everything is fueled up and ready to go. Uh, but like I said, I took one of everything... Uh, that I thought I might need up there to kind of get a start and get a foothold and we'll leave that stuff behind Might want to take one more bit of Food with us here. We'll take that canned vegetable And I think the capital vessels fueled up I think our Small vessels fueled up And we're ready to go I don't see any reason to hang around here any longer. I uh, just grabbed all of the, make sure I did, yeah, all of the hydrogen and water and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and leave my helmet on, I guess, so I don't forget it. Won't take us but a moment to get there. Need to turn the light on. Well, you all probably can't see uh, what's going on. And I'll just leave this stuff in my inventory and we'll dump it in the constructor because when I created this base this morning, uh, on that single player creative mode that I set up, I was able to whoops, put it, you know, an advanced constructor and all that we need. Now, of course, uh, when I import it to this game, it's just like going on the workshop. Uh, you have to uh, input all of the necessary resources to be able to build it, and then you have to wait the time to uh, build it and all of that, too. I don't think I've ever looked at the base from up here. So it looks like from up here. It doesn't look like much. It's a glass box. So let's get into orbit. I do believe we're ready. I did uh, sometime, maybe yesterday, I threw a drill turret on the top of this bad boy. So hopefully we'll come across some cool asteroid with some great ore that we need. And uh, we'll build a mine that thing now. So here we go, leaving the planet. All right, here we are. So let's take a look at the first planet we want to go to. I think it's going to be this one. And I did, uh, I think Viper told me that once I warp down here, I can actually warp to this trading outpost from here and then go back to the regular planet. It saves me having to hop back. Of course, last time we were just sightseeing and uh, we wanted to kind of check out those planets. So that was cool that we, we got to do that and got the uh, uh, airstrom, a restroom, a restroom. <laughs> We got all that stuff, so it was worth the uh, trip and the few crystals we spent to get there. Wapanaruski! I can't remember. I think it was Adis that we stopped by last time. I don't think we stopped by this planet. Since we're here... Boy, look at all the asteroids everywhere. Let's... Let's just scope this planet out real quick. You know, I think I was closer to the moon. I could have probably just gone to the moon, but let's just check this planet out since we're here. See what it has to offer. We'll just kind of do a quick flyby once we uh, 
get into the atmosphere. I don't believe that I've ever been to this planet. I do not think this is the one that we went to. We went to the uh, lava planet, which will be the next one in line uh, for warp. Let's scoot on down to this planet. It looks like a desert planet, perhaps. Not really sure. It just looks that way from up here. It doesn't look like a whole lot of water from up here. That's for certain. So we're almost there. Rapidly approaching. Don't see any enemy vessels around me at this time, so that's a good thing. We'll just do a quick little uh, scooch through here and see what type of ores or POIs we might find. Of course, we might be turning around and coming right back out if there's some enemy vessels down here that we don't want to encounter. Who knows what might be here? All right, we're here. And it certainly does look like a desert planet. That is down there. It almost looks like a gun of some sort. No? Oh, yeah, there's... There's not a lot of here is in the way of... Of course, my guns are finding something that's here, but... There's not a lot here in the way of uh, greenery. Looks like total desert. Let's get a little close to the surface here so we can load that in a little better. There we go. Pretty cool. Ooh, a plasma drone. Alright. I could almost use that thing for, uh, if I felt like getting off the ship. Oh, I'm hitting the mountains. We'd use that for power coils if we could get a couple. It's another plasma drone. kind of animal is that? It's a dead animal, folks. Oh, there's a big scorpion looking thing. It's a dead scorpion thing. Alright, well it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to see here. So far we've just found the similar resources that we uh, find on the other planet. <clears throat> Cobalt, Promethium, all of that good stuff. One cool thing I found uh, Crow and I found in the alien sector. Oh, that's a big gigantic base right there. We want no part of that because we're probably going to take some shots once we reach this other planet. But in the uh, alien sector, we found a pentaxid asteroid that you could mine with your capital vessel. So it inspired me when I got back on here to uh, go ahead and install one of those drills on this ship. And, uh,. That way, in case we come across another one of those, it saves a lot of work because it's kind of a pain. Uh, I mean, it's not really. It's easy to find, but you have to take a little small vessel or a hover vessel and go around the moon and scoop up all the crystals. And there are a good many in a cluster, but still, you just to be able to sit in front of an asteroid and press one button and just, you know, collect a bunch of it. You know, the one thing I forgot to do, though, I forgot to create a harvester module. I probably have, or a harvester storage. Uh, next jump we do, next warp we do, I might take a look in my constructor here. Oh, we'll do it when we get to the next planet. Because I'm pretty sure that next base has an advanced constructor. So we're not even going to tempt ourselves here and find an asteroid with it. And then I'm going to go back there and want to... Try to load it up. All right, so what I'm going to have to do now, I'm going to have to make sure I'm balanced, leveled out, and need to stop moving. Stop moving. All right. Need to go back here. Make sure I have some warp crystals on me. Yes, I do. And I need to load up this warp drive. Like a soul. Going back up to the bridge. Probably go ahead and top on off with some canned vegetables. Alright. 
Well, next planet is where we're going. This is where we uh, went, that alien outpost. Pretty dangerous place, actually. Um, excuse me. Wow. Uh, pretty dangerous place. We uh, took out a couple alien uh, vessels, a couple alien structures. Took those bad boys over. What are you doing, Spartan? Why'd you get out of the seat? I think my guy just wanted to look around. Let's make sure we're still... Locked on, we are not. Now we are. Alright, the arrow is pointing this way. And here we go. A spare on moon. Here we come. And there we go. Alright, so the moon is actually where we want to set up. Is this the moon or the planet? This looks like the moon compared to that thing over there, right? I hope so. Oh, I'm missing a uh, thing in the back. You see that decorative block? The gold thing in the very back? One of those must have gotten shot out by something. I don't think I did that myself. All right, well, this is uh, this is a pretty dangerous place we're going. Of course, we held our own last time, minus the big base that we came across, and we just had to stay steer clear of that. We'll do that again this time. But we're going to set our base up pretty close to some Zacosium. Uh, try to find a nice flat. Ooh, we're coming right on top of a base there. I don't want to do that. I don't know what that is, but I guarantee you it's probably armed. Let's see if it is armed. I probably shouldn't take this chance in my capital vessel. Oh, it is armed. It's armed, and it's shooting at us. Don't hit me. Oh, oh man, that's not good at all. All right, well, what I'd like to do is I would like to find the place that we were before. And Ghost Rider Headquarters, you know, weapon bunker, don't know what that is. Let's go see um... Okay, so that's where we were at. And this... Where we're at now so if we continue on around we'll come out to that let's do that let's just fly on this way uh, east and see what we see see what's out here we may come across even more ziscosium uh, it's even more concentrated than that it's pretty unlikely but you never know new place to be new place to see where to be and what to see Kind of scanning the horizon here, looking out for any base I'm sort of expecting to hop up over this hill and be a base over here. Here's Zuscosium right there. Okay. Let's go over that direction and see if there are any more. If there are any more around, I kind of want to get away from that hill too. Ooh, drone just ate it. Plasma drone. Another plasma drone. Well, drones everywhere. Thankfully, we have many weapons and lots of ammo on Big Boy here. Big Bertha. We're able to take those things out with ease. So we're going to continue heading east. Is that a troop transport down there? Oh, a large minigun drone. I've never seen one of those. We're going to go down there and check it out. Let's go see what that large minigun's all about. Well, those guns are just letting it rip. Whoops. There we go. Kind of creepy noises here. 
Maybe we'll take some of this stuff. No, that's all we're gonna take. So we're full. I should have probably dumped some of this stuff off in storage. Boy, the uh, nature here on this planet. I don't think they like us being here very much. All right, so let's jump on back into the ship, Ruski. Continue on east. Let's balance out here. And yeah, we're almost there. We're almost over to the uh, Ziscosium. We're going to have to take a big loop around though. this direction we're heading. We're going to go out here and come back up to it because uh, I don't want to be in range of those guns with this capital vessel. It's kind of squishy. This is only a tier 2 vessel. I know it looks big and intimidating, but it really isn't. Uh, on the server I have created a new ship that I downloaded off the workshop and this ship could fit inside that ship so uh, once you see something like that then you realize that uh, you know a ship like this is, is just really pretty simplistic I don't even think this ship has totally upgraded blocks all around maybe it does honestly I couldn't tell you because it's just a prefab but uh, either way it's certainly nothing we want to put a lot of faith in uh, keeping us up and going. So there's plenty of Ziscosium. There's one here, one there, a few up here close to this base. That'd be ideal if there's one over here too and we just settle our base over there. I don't like that it's nighttime right now. It's hard to see. Hard to see what's going on. We're going to try to keep away from any troop transports. I also don't want to turn in too much more get caught up in that Ghost Rider base. Alright. Well, nothing popping up on the radar over here, unfortunately. Looks as if we may have discovered all that there is to discover on at least this track, this path that we took across the planet. Of course, you can go from border to border, north to south, uh, east to west. Plasma drone and I'm sure find plenty of other resources but right now we're just taking this most direct path to get back over here so there's a 20,000 up there it'd be pretty cool if we could find a nice little place, place to settle somewhere through here and it's very deceiving as well the distance of things see we're already real close to that base there that we took out last time and there's the other base and if we go much further most much closer it's, uh, it's going to open fire on us. So I'm looking for a nice flat level area to sit down uh, and plop our base down that we have created. Kind of looks like a nice flat area over there. I was sort of scoping out this area here too. Don't forget, um, you can take your mining tool and flatten land as well. Of course, we're going to need a pretty big flattened area to put this base down on but maybe I don't want to be blocked off by any hills because you know the hills are going to hinder my guns on the base from being able to shoot at least for the time being we're going to settle down right here at least for the time being we're going to leave this capital vessel on and we're going to let it be our mobile defense perhaps take down any uh, baddies that we have coming in uh, for us so let's see if we can settle her down right here looks like that's pretty level go ahead and jump out and go inspect this area and see what I think see what it looks like see if it's some place that we could perhaps plop a base down looks pretty flat out here um, Flat enough to put a base. Uh, you know, I don't have a chainsaw. Oh, look at that. Okay, my inventory's full. Oh, I didn't dump that stuff off. It, you know, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Hmm. Let's see. If I were to use this and go to stone removal. Oh yeah. I 
Get rid of that. Doesn't look like it. So I didn't bring a chainsaw. That kind of stinks. Uh, we can remove this. So let's see. Let's jump jet here real quick. Okay, that's a nice open area. Let's see what this looks like. This uh, plopping this base down. I don't know how you would know which direction it's going to be facing. You know, I, I don't know if there's any way to tell that. But uh, here goes nothing. First time ever spawning something like this. Especially something that I've created. So I don't know how this is going to work. But here we go. All right. Well, it looks uh, semi-operational. It's all level to the ground. That's nice. Let's walk in and fuel her up. Do that number there, and look at there. Look at that. Oh, no O2. How about... I think I put some oxygen in the ship. I'm pretty sure I did. So I brought all of these resources along with me because my idea was uh, to just, you know, have some backup, some way to create or craft some things just in case of emergency. Of course, we have our guns there. Don't know if they automatically reload or not. Uh, let's put in our ingots, iron, silicone. Just one of every one is all I grab. One of each, uh, each one. Hydrogen. And we'll stick that little bit of stuff in there too. So now we can at least create uh, some basic uh, necessities. Okay. Uh, what else do we have on us? So we have some water. I brought a decent amount of water. We might throw that back on the ship though. I don't know if we'll take that, uh, leave that here. But, uh, but here is the base that I created uh, earlier. I'll show you the inside and then I'll go and show you the outside from the front. There's our little refrigerator and all. Uh, this goes up. There's, of course, the core of it right there. Goes up here. And uh, you have access to uh, at least the rooftop and your, uh, your guns, the four guns that I have installed. I really like black and red, the combination of those two. I guess you could tell by you know, my ship and the other base that I really like that combination. Uh, one thing I do not know is if these guns will reload automatically. I, drones are on their way to attack my base. So I guess we better go ahead and get these things reloaded. So I'm not too worried, maybe I should be, but I think between these guns and the capital vessel, uh, we should be all right. You know, I think they should defend our base really well. Hopefully I brought the right kind of ammo to put into these guns. But when you get that warning, it's go time. All right, well, we're going to let the base uh, take over here and do our defense for us. Take a look at the map, see if we see anything incoming. I do not see anything incoming. Doesn't mean that there's not, but yeah, uh, but don't, you know. It's nothing uh, super fancy. It's just uh, just kind of a starter base for a new planet. I think he even named it that. I don't know if I'll ever upload it to the workshop, but uh, I named it New Base, New Planet Starter Base, or something like that. My idea was, uh, you know, a base that you could slap down on a new planet that's ready to go, has everything you need. Of course, you see, you know, has has everything to get you started. Well, let's go back in here and probably have some other things in this constructor here, too, that I could throw in there. Uh, yeah, a few items, you know, we could we could throw in there. I'm going to throw my warp crystals in here with the rest. Uh, we'll just put part of the fuel in there and keep some on us. I always like having a little bit of fuel on me. It's just... Um, Anything else that we need? I don't think. Oh, oxygen. We need oxygen for the... We'll go ahead and eat. And I'll leave the ship running for now. 
uh, pretty sure it's gonna be uh, okay on fuel we have lots and lots of fuel along with us plus we have all of these fuel tanks that you see here let's check these and make sure yeah, they're all full uh, all the way on to the back most of them are at least semi full so I think we're good there uh, oxygen will take down to the the base it may not be a bad idea to kind of leave some of this stuff in here but I'm gonna take it in anyway little items like that what well, those guns are just going off what are they shooting at uh, it must be wildlife here on the planet so now that we are semi established you know what? I need to set this base to... Oh, see, I wish I would have known how it was going to set it up and could have rotated it. Maybe there's some way of knowing that. I just didn't know it. But I would have put the front door on the other side. So let's hit P. Let's go to Spa for the Spartan. And then let's go to our O2 tank. Do this number right here. Stick this stuff in there. So we pretty much have everything that we need to make, uh, you know, whatever we need to make here on this planet as well. Gives us a nice uh, place to start out. We're going to stick our O2 in here. I guess we could stick a little bit of fuel in here too to kind of keep us going. Oh, you know, the O2 should go up there. Here, let's do it like this. I did this for a reason. Put the O2 under the O2 tank and the fuel on this fuel tank. I, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, and I wanted to put blocks underneath this. The problem with that is, is uh, the base would be all jacked up in the air because it doesn't dig the terrain out underneath for you when you place a block underneath like that. So it just kind of is what it is, but looks decent. Have our ammo in there. Uh, there's nothing in there. I think we're good. I think we're all established, set up, ready to go. The one thing that I see that I do not like, and I don't know how it ended up like that. Is that right there? How did that not get uh, painted? Hmm. Not a big deal. Oh, that's painted. Doesn't look painted, but it is. Well, that's um, that's good stuff right there. That's a great little place to have to fall back to if we need to. I was thinking I could pick that uh, cool looking thing there. Alien thorn. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. I forgot exactly what you use that for, but I uh, have seen it before. Pick the mushrooms? Can't pick the mushrooms. Can't pick that either. It's a pretty creepy sounding stuff out here. I don't know if uh, we should be afraid or... We're running pretty low on oxygen here. All this running around. So I think what we'll do, we'll head on into the capital vessel. We'll suck up some O2 real quick. We'll make sure our hover vessel is good to go. I kind of want to take a crack at that, um, that base over there that we couldn't take out the other day. So, oops, O2 tank. Okay, there's oxygen in there. So I don't know, I'm torn. Uh, we have lots of Zascosium, so we don't necessarily need that right now. Uh, my goal would be to go to all of these planets and set up, because I've never been to any of these planets over here, never any of that. I just stopped by there to today or this morning for the first time, never been here. Uh, this is the only, these are the only two planets I've ever been to. You know, of course we just stopped by this desert 
barren planet here. Um, and this is where you start out. But I've never been to any of the moons anywhere except for here. Uh, so there's a lot to be found here, a lot to explore. There's a way to mod in new planets. Uh, so so much to do in this alien outpost is just uh, riddled with alien capital vessels and, and all of that good stuff. I think instead of mine, our ship is loaded up, our small vessel. If it gets beat up, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, of course, I would hate to die in it and lose whatever's on me, but I think I'm going to get on here and try to um, pick away at that base. So... Ghost Rider Defense, Ghost Stealth, MK2. And there she is, right over there. What a beast she is. It would really benefit us if, if it were daytime. It's going to be daytime here pretty soon. I'm not going to wait for that, though. We should be able to tell where the fire is. It's coming from. Let's go ahead and light her up here one time. I don't know how far that is. Our effective range is very, very short with these rockets. Is it any better for the lasers? Not really. Oop, oop! That's some heavy artillery that it's firing over. Those red lasers hit us, and we're in a world of hurt. Mm. Weaving in a bobbin. I don't enemy troop transport. All right. We're not doing very much damage to this thing. I can't take it head on, you know, I can't just fly straight at it and fire because it's going to just eat us alive. What I might have to do is just pick away, uh, get a shot here or there, go back to the uh, capital vessel, do some repairs. If I could take those big cannons out, that would be ideal. Switch over to this laser gun here and see what it'll do. Ooh, I saw something explode. Did we take out the control block on this thing? And what is that ship? Ladies and gentlemen, I think we may have just gotten luckier than I can even describe to you. I think that explosion that I saw was the control block being destroyed. Um, I, you know, I was just randomly firing shots. I had no idea where control block might be located here, so... Look at that. That thing is so heavily armed. I almost want to... Boy, that must... That was an awful place to put a control block, though, if we destroyed it. You know what I need to do? I need to get a core. I need to make a core real quick and come back and put the core down and take that base over. I had no idea it would be so easy uh, to... It's not 
Normally, you're not going to do what I just did. That was so close. Look at how close that troop transport was to getting to our capital vessel. If it weren't for the guns on the ship and on the base, that thing might have actually taken something over. Destroyed the core on our ship. So let's hop out of here real fast. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of have a little lisp. I, I had some dental work done day before yesterday. Has me uh, talking a little funny. Um, yeah, let me make this core. And I left the... I'm so nervous. Uh, so I left the capital vessel going just to have extra firepower. I probably did not need to do that, but... Uh, core. Let's get this stuff put away first. And then... Core, core, core. Core right here. We just got so lucky, though. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I saw the explosion and I thought, well, uh, we're fortunate that we were able to take something out. A gun or something. Uh, what a poor placement for a core. I'll have to remember that. I doubt it's the same for uh, any two bases, but... If I ever happen to come across one that looks like that again, I'll just know, uh, close my eyes and shoot for the center. <laughs> wow. Watch, we'll come back over here and they'll have everything powered back up. <laughs> they'll be lighting us up. I want to go check that Ghost Rider defense down to out too. Remember, we went over there last time, or last video, and we couldn't get there because this uh, this base was pelting us. Let's find a good place to land, some place where I feel like I can get back out to. We'll leave our small vessel running just in case of emergency. Look at that sentry gun right there. I don't know if there are any guys in here. Um. Whoa, oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. Oh, it's an elevator. Oh, there are guys in here. And they're not happy about me taking out their base either. Uh-huh. You don't know how to use the elevator in your own base, silly. few bullets but what I'm wondering is ooh there's a special crate uh let's take our multi tool out click on disassemble it's almost like we have not taken out the control block I want to place mine but I want to make sure that we got theirs first before we do that let's see if it'll even allow me to, to place this somewhere Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Maybe we just took out a generator. Uh, the generator power in this place. Because I, it's not letting me put down a control block. Which tells me the control block to this base is still active. We were very lucky there, too. That uh, all of these sentry guns, I cannot imagine. Oh, there's a control block right there. We're going to need to grab the explosives off of the, uh... Nope. Nope. Looks like I'm able to destroy it pretty easily. Let's back up. Ooh, it took a little damage there. So we're going to place theirs. 
with ours. We're going to make this SPA. Oh, what? Let's see what happens if we power it up. Oh, we can't power it up. There's no generator. Um, we can go make a generator real fast. Ooh, look at that. Slurp those things right up. What do I get for those? Oh, I actually get the sentry gun, too. Nice. We can stick those in our own base in case that troop transport would uh, unload some guys in there. But I wonder what happens now. i uh, taking this over. These guns will actually be active on the base since they're alien guns. Most likely not, but it'd be real cool if they did. We're going to go back and make a generator real fast. Guess we could probably get away with a small, but maybe we make a uh, large generator. Good stuff. That was an awful place to put their own, uh, their one and only generator, put it up on top. So I guess the one thing I did not include on this base is a place to land our ship. You know, I'm kind of having to land out on the, uh, turf next to it maybe I go back and amend that and, um, add a place to land you know I on here the base has already been built so there's no there's no change in that but I could uh, add on to it on here but save the prefab so if we ever put one down again Let's see. Generator, 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 generator. Large T2. We just want a large T1. How about that? I'm going to eat some of the canned veggies. I'll take a sip of my beverage. Right. Uh, let's throw. Cause we're not. We have no idea what we're gonna loot from this place. Uh, we've already put in fuel. You know, we better put our food in the fridge. Hop on in our SV. Yeah, you know me. This is a really cool looking vessel. I can't wait to plop down a generator and uh, power it up. My question is though, now that we've taken it over, because all of the guns are alien guns, if I power this thing up, is it going to destroy my ship and myself? What What's it going to do? Because I don't think we can make these guns work for us. Uh, you know, they're, they're alien guns that we can't build. Uh, we better leave the ship running just in case we need to make a quick exit when I power this sucker up. So we're going to go somewhere deep within the uh, center of this base. Somewhere right through here maybe even. We're going to take you out because you look pretty dangerous. And so this is where our core is at anyway. Perfect. Throw down a generator. Flip it around this way. Is it too big? Oh, yeah, okay. It's a big old generator. Press Y. Hold our breath. Okay, well, the guns are not firing, but everything is powered up. Now, that's a pretty cool looking base. Minus the pink. We'll have to change the pink. I'm not digging that, but, uh, All right, well, let's see if there's anything in this base to loot. You know, we've been on the top floor, we've been on that floor. Um, there's that one thing right there that I wanted to check out and see what's in there. I think that's like some ammo crate. 
Some gun crates, some gold. Auto miner core, look at that. A plasma turret. Plasma cannon. What is that for? Small vessel, yeah, we don't really need that, but we'll take it anyway. Oh, there's another one here, I didn't see there were two. Medic station, T2 fuel tank, and more gold. We'll take all the little sentry guns. All right, so there's more up here. Yeah, I think we destroyed pretty much all that was up there to be had. We were pelting it with, uh, ooh, I fell off. We were pelting it with uh, rockets and the laser gun. We may have destroyed whatever might have been left up in there, so I fell off through that hole where I'd blown in there. Let's go around to the other side. Now, there may be some hidden compartments in here. I do not know. Let's repair this fuel tank. Let's kind of go up and repair anything that needs to be repaired. Honestly, I don't want to... I want to keep this thing intact. It's just another sort of outpost for us, I guess. What happens if you harvest one of these? I've never harvested one of these things. I always just destroy them. Did I only get one steel plate from destroying that? That's kind of silly. Well, shoot. I guess there may have been nothing more than... Um, there's two red containers, unless I'm missing something. Some of you watching this are probably like, go to the right, go to the left, go down. You've probably seen all of this. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat little base. I know it's heavily armed. So now that this is ours, and we no longer have to worry about it, uh, let's go check out the other ghost defense that uh, we took out initially. Let's see if there's anything over there to... Uh, worth having. It'd be pretty cool if these guns would activate and take things out for us. So not going to worry about the core and the generator and all for this one. Uh, we got that other one and I just wanted to see what it was like, you know, if it were possible to do what we did. And it was. This one... There could be guys inside of this one as well. I do not know. Let's go ahead and break out our gun, get it reloaded. Oh, we're going to have to knock on the front door. Looks like it's locked. I have a purple gun. Oh, man. So this thing is still powered. What am I shooting with that for? <whistles> Took a little bit of a beating there. Okay. Let's see if I can take one of these blocks out and go in through the side. Uh, I heard some kind of nasty sounding creature. Maybe he's inside this base. I mean, all I really need to do is get out the old uh, rocket launcher on the vessel, small vessel, and blow a hole in this thing. 
Let's see if there's any more in there. I'm not really interested in saving much. Of course, I don't want to destroy any loot containers, but uh, certainly want to get inside and, and you know take out the core or whatever. Uh, let's line our ship up here. Let's make sure we have our laser gun equipped. Pulse laser. And we're going to do this number right here. I didn't want to use the rocket launcher because I felt like that was a little too, a little too much. It's going to blow up and do uh, AOE damage, and we don't want to do that. You know, we just want to kind of take out individual blocks and whatnot. But there may just not be much to this base. Um, looks like it's kind of just a solid thing. Well, there's a fuel tank for it. It's well defended as far as that goes. Uh, they had that fuel tank placed away deep in there. I guess one barrage on the rockets won't hurt. Maybe two. Now, is that the room that we were in? I believe that it is. Uh, what about up here? What is this thing up top? Yeah, look at how tough this is. I mean, we're having just our way with it. We can just sit in front of it and shoot it. And look at how many shots it takes to take this stuff out. These blocks. That must have just been where the guns were mounted, were sitting. That's what that was. So it's curious though where the uh, control block... Oh! Where the control block might have been located. Uh, let's jump out of the ship one more time and walk up in here. Okay, so that is where we were located. Uh, so who knows where the control block is at for this place, but it doesn't look like there's It doesn't look like there's much more of anything in here worth having uh, Of course the fuel tank right there Maybe a generators right up there above it uh, We could kind of selectively pick away at some of that stuff, but I don't think there's anything else worth having in there Who knows? Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that so close. Oh, man, what was that? Maybe we just destroyed the uh, generator is what that was. Well, I guess we won't worry about it. I guess it just is what it is, but, uh, well, nice. Well, we have established ourselves a base here on the Spiron's moon. So we're just a hop, skip, and a jump. We could take our small vessel and head to Mesperion. Look at those guns firing on the wildlife here. If we wanted to, you know, do so. We can just hop on this ship, fly up there. We'll actually land on the front side of the base here. Man, they're just tearing stuff up out there. I feel pretty safe right here though. A capital vessel and a base just unloading on anything that gets close by. It's a little surprised at how 
uh, close by that uh, troop transport was able to get though. That's a that's a little scary. We can keep that on us, but we will dump off the parts, the gold ingots. This is all building supplies here. So we can put all our building supplies there. And the uh, auto miner core. That's huge. Huge. If we can keep finding those things here and there. Uh, I've not used up all that we had now. I, I use them sparingly because, you know, once you start off with like eight or whatever it is, eight or ten, and you don't get any more, uh, you can't make any more. And so I was really worried that, well, you know, we use those up on different things and we don't really know the mechanics of the game. We're never going to get more to replace those, but that's pretty promising. Uh, knowing that you can from places like this, the more difficult planets have them. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pull my capital vessel up to the base. And we're going to power her down. I went to the wrong side. So there's no need for us to be wasting ammo with the uh, capital vessel and fuel when we have a fully capable base now. The garden on the ship is growing. I don't have anything planted over here, but I brought plenty of plants with me uh, in storage there to put down, so we need to do that at some point. Uh, only problem with that is, is here in this vessel, if I turn it off, uh, you know, it's not going to have, uh, it's not going to be able to grow anything. So let's get our capital vessel over here out of the way. And we're going to turn it in such a way, too, so that when I land, I can just go out the front and right into the front door of my base. Take out those trees. Hope I didn't land on my small vessel. Alright, well that's not as noisy now. I don't even think I looked to see if this planet has... Uh, Breathable air. Not a big deal. Anything else in there that we need to have? We take those. I think everything else is good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you being along with me today on this journey. Venture to this uh, hostile planet and plop down a base, get a foothold here. Had no idea we were going to go over and completely take over a base like what we did. But we're set up here nicely now and uh, ready to go take on the world, the rest of the world that is. So thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.